Happy Friday. Phil Lindemann with your midday news on Crystal 93. It's a sunny Friday at Keystone, where a crew from Tennessee is having a reunion. Girls trip, Valentine's weekend. All yeah, Galentine's, Galentine's reunion. All friends from college. Sorority sisters from University of Tennessee, <laughs> thank you very much. Go balls. Making her first trip to Keystone is Annie from Chicago. I skied Beaver Creek for like four days a couple weeks ago, and then Keystone and Vail this weekend, so we're excited. We were talking Olympics with Ellen and Brian, siblings from Portland. We were watching the men's half pipe and rooting for Hirano. Oh yeah, definitely the best one out there knowing nothing. Nick from Chicago, he won't be watching the games because the NHL is where it's at. No NHL players at all this year for any of the, any of the countries I've heard. Forecast calls for clouds and maybe some snow later, but nothing much to write home about. A 21-year-old skier from Golden was killed at Copper Mountain Wednesday in Copper Bowl, where he crashed and died from blood loss. This is the fifth inbound skier death of the season in Summit and the ninth confirmed fatality statewide. Aspen Ski Co. just announced a new minimum wage of $20 per hour for all employees, just three months after announcing a $17 hourly wage. Jason Blevins of the Colorado Sun broke that news. Aspen's committing $12 million to this payroll bump. Frisco Visitor Center has joined the Care for Colorado Coalition, a statewide initiative cl to clean up trails by leaving no trace. Jessica Hawley with the town. No, before you go, stick to the trails, leave things as you found it, things like that. So just really promoting the leave no trace principles. Membership will cost just 150 bucks for the town to join. Look for educational materials on social media and at trailheads in Frisco. Avalanche danger is moderate today at all elevations in the Vail Summit County Zone. Your problems are the same as yesterday. Loose dry slides, wind slab, and persistent slab. Check the forecast for details. In sports, the Avalanche beat the Lightning last night 3-2. Today, the Nuggets play the Celtics at 5-30. No medals for Team USA yesterday at the Olympics. Sean White and Taylor Gold ended 4th and 5th in halfpipe. Michaela Schifrin took 9th at Super G. Tonight, Colorado's Katie Ulander tries for her first Olympic podium in five Olympics for women's skeleton. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz & Associates with American Family and Dillon, Summit High Girls Basketball beat Basalt last night 36-24, extending their win streak to four. Today, the Tigers Alpine Ski Team is racing at Slalom at Beaver Creek. Swimming and diving has the state meet in Westminster. Wrestling is at regionals in Gunnison, trying to qualify for state. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.